so um, Today's piece of media is Timothy attempts to stay sane and starve off whatever voices that may or may not be in his head. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am Timothy. I'm also known as TiVo with five sevens. And uh, I just watched a video made by a very thought provoking person, an American, I assume. And uh, he made a valid point, but I went to because I can. This is my this is my art show. Look at that from I don't know my perspective, I suppose. So what I mean by that is, okay, he pointed out that a lot of the problems that African Americans have to deal with. Or problems that they generate for themselves and that's not me saying this that that's him saying this and uh, you know to the degree that's very very true that is incredibly true um, not all their problems come from themselves but I would say maybe 40 to 60 percent it's somewhere in there no one's actually measured it as far as I know um, and the, the thing that I was thinking to myself was uh, well, actually, the white man does exist. You know, he may not exist for black people, but he certainly exists for white people. Exists for me. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it kind of furthers his own point. Because, um, well, what do you think holds me down? other white people yeah 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 I mean you know I'm not gonna get murdered by a black person if I get murdered it's gonna be some white guy that kills me or it could be my you know a spouse probably a white woman uh, you know white people kill white people black people kill black people if anyone's gonna murder you it's probably gonna be someone you know or someone you completely don't know it's one of those two things it's never like a person you kind of know it's either like a complete stranger or it's someone you totally know be over money or all the nerves break down or they'll go crazy or something like that. So, um. Okay, so here's a good point. Most of the problems that I have as a Christian, which are very important to me because, you know, that's a good part of my life, they don't come from atheists or Muslims or Jews or, you know, anyone who's an outsider. They come from people inside the belief system. Well, they're Christians. And these Christians, they, um, they don't understand anything from the book. They never read the book. They never... Someone just maybe picked up the book in some cases. And, uh, you know, I wonder if they even know any of the Ten Commandments. Um, you know, they cheat on their spouses, they, they lie in court, and they just violate the hell out of the religion. And they're the problem. They're the reason why there is going to basically be no Christians. Or almost no Christians by the time I'm an old man. And, uh, you know, it might get to a point where it gets so awful that even I will stop being a Christian. Not because I stop believing, but because I just don't want to be attached to the whole system anymore. I'm so tired of retarded people 
using my uh, my faith as an excuse to beat the shit out of people and attack them with weapons when that's the exact opposite of what Jesus specifically said to do. But I think I am going to take this moment and be self-affirming when I say that even though a lot of my problems have to do with myself and that I cause all myself a lot of heartache and I kind of walk myself into a lot of problems and I make things worse for myself, I can tell you that a great number of my problems don't have anything to do with me. And that's not me trying to shift the blame. That's me just kind of admitting to myself that there's not as much wrong with me than I thought. And I'm not as bad as I think I am. So, look, all the problems I had as a child were not caused by me. I didn't cause my parents' divorce. I didn't cause my family to have issues. I didn't cause them to have problems raising me. Um, I'm not the reason why I was bullied. That was nothing on me. I'm the reason why I was misdiagnosed and giving the wrong medication. I'm not the reason why that medication caused me to flip out and be sent to a mental institution for a week or two. None of that was my fault. I didn't choose my own medications. I didn't raise myself. I didn't diagnose myself. None of that was me. Technically speaking, you could say that was, quote unquote, the white man. I mean, it wasn't a black guy that said, oh, you have ADHD, when I didn't. And it wasn't, um, you know, an Asian who said, I had bipolar when I didn't. And those people didn't thrust pills into my hands, tell me to take them. And part of the problem you could say was also the white woman. I mean, my mother raised me wrong. And by raised me wrong, I mean... She caused problems that I know happened. I know they weren't hearsay because it wasn't hearsay that she jacked my grandmother's car. It wasn't hearsay that she ran off with one of my dad's military buddies or some, some guy she met at the base or whatever. And it wasn't hearsay that she is just really bad at making life decisions. And I know my father, he has never really led me astray. He's misunderstood. He's been lost. He's been confused. But he's never really led me mis mis astray. Um, if you ever met my dad, he's one of those people where he could literally lead you down the wrong path and you would still end up where you're supposed to be. That's my dad. stand people they're so fucking stupid it's like they are completely broken in every single way i can't stand people they just can't love and they treat each other like shit so yeah, and be misdiagnosed, and oh, so many problems that were caused by people that just I couldn't do anything about. I mean, I wasn't even eight yet when all these things happened. Eight-year-olds can't control a single damn thing. They can't even control themselves. Expecting them to is kind of stupid. They're freaking eight. I mean, eight-year-olds are like they can't even figure out that a tall skinny glass is exactly the same as a short fat glass for freaking freaking eight I mean they're just not very bright and they it's not their problem not their fault the brain only, it takes a long time to develop and they're just eight 
It's like expecting cement to cool faster. It just can't. It's not their fault. It wasn't my freaking fault. God damn it. How do I, um... Fuck. Um... How do I fix this? I'm not sure how, how I'm going to do this. This looks like a lot of work. It's really nice shading. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I mean... I can't use the new... I have to use the old handguard. Do I just want to leave that as is? Damn, I don't even know. Um, let's work on this. It'll be easier. So, um, I guess the point that I was trying to make was... The black man... Oh, God, I'm so I'm so off topic. I don't even know what I'm thinking about anymore. I'm just totally flipping the fuck out. Um, yeah, I should not speak in public a lot. This is just awful. Okay, there we go. There we go, Gary. Um, yeah, the, the, the white man not only exists for him, but does for me because... Well, you, you could say it's the white people. The white adults, I suppose. The white elders. Um, they're my problem. You know what I mean? Like, when... Yeah, when all the, the wrong medications were given to me, that was... That was white old white people. You know what I mean? Like, basically, when people picture, like, the Illuminati, you know, it's a bunch of old people that are just, like, white and they just control everything. Um, that was pretty much all my problems growing up. You know what I mean? Like, my siblings and their stepdad, uh, their, uh, their dad, my stepdad, when he walked out. Yep, he was older than me. He was white. He had power. He had some degree of wealth. And he had deep-seated emotional problems. And he couldn't put away his own, um, backstory or whatever. His own history. That's what was so wrong. And he just made so many fucking mistakes. I'll never know how many he made, because mom is just the kind of person that just blows things out of proportion. Kind of like how I used to, except when I did it, it was not too bad. I blew things up until people cared as much as I did. They still didn't care. That's life for you. So, um... Okay, let me, let me flat out just say this. The, uh... Okay, good. Good, the pixels are good. People say that all... There's just this... What's the word? Um... It's like a story that everybody tells. It starts with an L, I think. Um, it's like a story that people repeat, like a lie. They just keep telling it. To like, you know, get out of prison or something weird. Um, Okay, okay, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna give up on that. Tip of the tongue syndrome. So, there's this, well, basically this story that everybody keeps telling. This way of thinking. And they keep saying that if you reach inside yourself, you can fix all your problems. 
all of your problems. You can fix them yourself. All your problems they come from you, or if they don't, you can still fix them. You can just reach inside yourself, make yourself an amazing person. Boom, problems. You can beat the shit out of them. Uh, that's cognitive psychology. That's one of the four schools of psychology. And uh, I don't know how to explain this other than to say there are several other schools of psychology and not all your problems are coming from yourself. Now sure, you can you can do things about them. There are a shitload of problems you can't do anything about. That doesn't mean you should take it lying down or anything, no. No, 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 no. I'm recommending you just be pissed about it. Really pissed. Freakishly pissed. Uh, it's basically the situation where you have, to, you have to you have to take the beating and you have to make it as just annoying and frustrating for the person who's hitting you in the stomach as physically possible. And that's all you can do and do anything else is to be weak and to be stupid. It's basically the equivalent of just like covering yourself in thorns and just letting them hit you until their knuckles bleed. So I used to win fights. I let them hit me in the ribs, and they would fuck up their entire hand. And I would just stand there, and I would just stare at them. Wondering how they were so stupid. But yeah, cognitive psychology is not all psychology there's there's a number of psychologies that basically combined say that we are more or less complete slaves slash bitches to things that were done to traumatize us how our parents raised us what society tells us is right or wrong like I'll give an example no offense to all the women out there just trying to make things work but uh you are aware that when you wear earrings those if i remember correctly are a symbol of slavery like you know how like people brand their cows so they can tell which one's theirs and how they would like brand slaves for the same freaking reason well, the thing is, they also would put pieces of jewelry on their ears so they could figure out which slave was theirs. Or slaves, I should say. So, um... You know, I, I know that feminism is like a big important thing and you want to be all liberated, I suppose? I mean, you know, everybody in America wants to be liberated. Just, you know, everyone in the free world wants to be liberated. You're, you're not liberated theoretically speaking, while wearing earrings. You're just a slave. You can, like, take that and make it mean a completely different thing, like, you know, Yankee, which used to mean, you know, that was meant to, to mock us, but we said, nope, we're Yankees now. We're going to make that a symbol of our pride. You can do that. But uh, I just don't think it'll be easy. And when you were, uh, high heels, you're just wearing men's fashion. And when you, uh, make your eyebrows thin, and then you make your eyelashes freakishly long, you're just, you just look weird as fuck. Just, like, really weird. Almost creepy, I would say. I mean, when your eyebrows are that, when your eyelashes are that long, they draw attention to them. But, you know, if you want a guy to be, like, interested in you and want to, like, consider you as, like, a possible girlfriend slash wife slash person to have sex with, I don't think you want them staring at your eyelashes. Just an opinion. Um, because, you know, think about it this way. If you could have a person staring at a certain part of your body for, say, I don't know, 30 seconds... Where would you prefer they stare? Your boobs or your eyelashes? 
You know, if I was a woman, I'd probably say boobs. But I'm probably an idiot. I probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I would say that. Because, hey, at least your 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 breasts are your breasts, right? Like, you haven't... Unless you got implants or something. Your eyelashes, you know, if you make them freakishly long and people are staring at them, those aren't your eyelashes. They're staring at something that isn't you. And if you get implants in your breasts, well, at least they're staring at, like, a lot of money you spent to make them look like that. Eyelash liner is not expensive. It's cheap. You know, people stare at your expensive shoes. That's one thing. That's, oh, people recognize how rich I am. But, um... Yeah, when they're staring at your eyelashes, it's completely different. Your lipstick's stupid. I mean... Okay, if a person's staring at your lips, that means they want to kiss you. But if you put a bunch of lipstick on, then they could just be staring at your lips because they think your lips look freakishly weird. And uh, I, I don't know how to explain this other than to say men are attracted to women. And when you do stuff to yourself that makes you look unhuman, you don't look like women. So, what I mean by that is, um, I mean, you know, women can wear t-shirts, they can do a bunch of things guys are going to do, they can cut their hair short and all that, but, uh, you need to give us, like, some kind of hint that, uh, you're female, just, you know, like, a, like, like a, like a hint, just be like, yep. I'm female, I am a suitable, I don't know, thing to be attracted to if you're a heterosexual male or a lesbian, or something like that. And uh, yeah, just basically all this makeup stuff is stupid and makes you look weird. And uh, for the record, it doesn't make you attractive per se. Because there are countries where women with freakishly long necks is considered attractive. That is just plain cultural bullshit that's been, like, pumped into their minds or whatever. Now, if a woman's attractive because of her breasts, that's not because we have sexualized the breasts. If you talk to any of the people that look into this, the whole science thing, they'll tell you that it's supposed to symbolize the, uh, the hindquarters just in a more convenient location and it's a symbol of basically fertility um, if you have developed breasts then theoretically speaking you can give birth uh, it doesn't mean you should but it means you can it means you effectively hit puberty and you're capable of giving birth to children the second thing the breasts symbolize is that when they reach a relatively reasonable size they tell you hey I'm 18 I'm fully grown for the most part. I probably can support myself to some degree, and I, you know, have all my stuff in working order. And the legs, you're just, they say you're healthy. And they're shaved because men have hairy legs, and society decides that women need to be different enough from men that we don't get confused with which is which which I, I guess is okay I suppose I can sort of live with that but uh, yeah all this artificial stuff is crap I mean seriously ladies you're beautiful as is you're perfectly beautiful you look fine you know I'm I get told attractive all the time and I'm not even that good to look at all I did was take some antibiotics to get my face, you know, really cleared up compared to what it used to be. It used to be so almost life-threateningly bad. Um, and I was attracted before I did that. I was attracted with all the problems with my face. And I'm a guy. We're hideous monstrosities. You know. God was probably drunk when he made us. Okay, good guy doesn't drink. Um, we're, we're just we're just ugly, and women have just been programmed to be attracted to how ugly we are. We're just freakishly ugly. I mean, think about it. Um, what's considered attractive in a man is chiseled features. Okay, 
and I take total advantage of this. I'm people are like, you have very pointy chin. Your shoulders are very pointy. You're just like really bony and skinny, and people like that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a total took take full advantage of all my little benefits of being like this. But yeah, I mean, I'm I mean, seriously. I'm angry all the time. That's considered attractive. It's just all, I don't know, men, men are weird. And uh, women look perfectly fine as is. They don't have, need to fake anything. Another thing I should point out is that even Hitler had a girlfriend. So seriously, everyone on this freaking planet, if you know what you're doing, you can get more than one girlfriend you can get a girlfriend and just be like yep she's crazy new girlfriend and you could do that or you could you could say oh this is a really good girlfriend but I need to move and she doesn't want to move with me and uh, you know I can't I can't do a relationship while we're apart or, or she could say that or you know you have options you have so many options and I think you should look into those options and I think that you shouldn't like run around looking for a girl or a guy or whatever. No, no offense if, if I forgot any of the LGBT community. But, um. Just don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, there are people freaking out right now trying to find you, and you're freaking out trying to find them, and it'll just happen. I mean, there's a lot of people who didn't die crying because they're so alone. So, and that was way before all this internet stuff happened. It became so easy to find a possible, you know, person to hook up with or, or be a soulmate of. So, I mean, you, get, you people are lucky as hell. You got chances and all that. I'm going to have to put this through a series of stuff. So, um, I think this is it. Well, this was fun, I guess.